foremost. Dinner plate dahlias. How about that? Look at Devin. Look at Devin. And Devin's yeah. no short guy. He's standing in the middle of those well, dahlias. I want him to come out a little bit later and tell you about that photo. Okay. He's a great story. Okay. And then we started with 15,000 of these. We now have fewer than 2,400 remaining. These are super difficult to get. I'm just putting yep. it out there. Roberta's is always what we call hard to find, but easy to grow. And these are hard to find. Corn. They are. You know, there's 57,000 varieties of dahlias grown around the world. That's even wow. larger than daylilies. The daylilies, <laughs> yeah. Yes, so 57,000. Oh and my gosh. we traveled to Holland. It was not an easy trip. It's way back. Devin will tell you about, about his trip to, to source these. Mm -hmm. And it's a three-piece collection, and they couldn't be easier. Our customers yes. love big, showy flowers. Yeah. And these are enormous. These are the size of a dinner plate. <clears throat> Wow. And this is called the Mango Madness here. So here I got a little dinner plate, brought it from home just to show you here. <laughs> Look there's, at the difference. There's the dinner plate oh and there's the flower. Oh my gosh. Look so at that. This is Mango Madness. This Incredible. one is the largest of all of them. Oh, and beautiful. Um, they come back every year um, if you overwinterize them and they couldn't be more fun and easy. But let's go yeah. through the uh, uh, images and maybe yeah, exactly. uh, Devin can come over. Because you're going to get <laughs> one in Mango right. Madness, one in Pylons Princess, mm -hmm. and one in Pylons Pam. And this so is three the Mango colors. Madness. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the Pinelands Pam. I Ooh. love this one. It's so beautiful with Looks the like red tips, fire. like tongues <laughs> on fire. And this is Pinelands Pam uh, Princess. The pink one is Princess. So we got the, the Pam and the Princess together. Mm -hmm. And I love these flowers. Look at that creamy white. It's like a bullseye, dark uh, purple in the side, and then surrounded by a creamy white and then more fuchsia pink around the edges. Ooh, beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? It is. And then there's one more that you get. That was the one we showed you before. Mm -hmm. The Pineland Pam and the Pinelands um, Princess. And then there's a Mango and Madness. And there's a Mango Madness. And I wanted Maybe we to, don't uh, have a picture of it. No, it's there, okay. uh, and I wanted to let uh, Mango Madness. De Devin come out and show the picture of him in the uh, in the fields yeah. too, because and that was such a great trip. You don't have to choose; you're getting all three of those. No. And how much would those three, like you know, is this representative of one plant? This is one. This is exactly one plant that I have right here. One Mango Madness. Of course, you can put two in the same pot if you want, mm -hmm. and I'll do a potting demo and show you how you can do that. Okay. Um, now look. These are huge flowers. They look like they're divas, but they're not. These are among the easiest flowers that you'll ever grow. God didn't make 57,000 varieties of dahlias if they were difficult. Yeah. These are easy, but it looks like you'd be a master gardener in order to grow them. Yeah, and exactly. let me show you here what you're gonna get and what you're gonna do. Okay. So you're getting- um, Three. Three, all three, and look at these. They look like uh, like fingerling potatoes. Yeah. But all these is where they store their energy. This oh. is food for your dahlia. So what you're gonna do, these couldn't be easier to grow. You only have to bury them about one inch or, or less. That's it. You leave the top always poking out like that. Okay. Cover that up, then water it in with your Hawaiian flower magic and your spray and flourish. Set this outside in the hot full sun. Mary Beth, these thrive on heat and sun. These are plants that are going when all your other plants have given up in the garden. Oh, really? And from this plant right here, in about two weeks, you'll see little leaves sprouting. And again, in 90 days. So in this summer, yes. I will see this. That in 90 days. Oh my gosh. And you can gosh. put one in each pot. And these are our studio representations. Yeah. And here's Devin. Come on out, yeah, Devin. I want to show Devin. you that. And Tell me about this picture, Devin. We can yeah. get back to it. So I was in Holland earlier last year when I found when I found these varieties. But initially, I found some brilliant dinner plate dahlias when I was actually riding my bike. I rode it across Europe, and I across the pine lands of Holland, which is the center of Holland where the name comes from. And when I saw dinner plate dahlias for the first time, I said, oh, oh man, these are gorgeous, but they must be really tough plants to grow. That's not something that we should offer. Yeah. But then I quickly learned, boy, these are actually one of the easiest plants that you can grow. 
and clearly one of the most stunning in your garden. Wow, and how tall will these get? About four to five feet tall. Okay, so should we stake them? Oh, I would recommend staking them. Yeah, okay. you can put a stake right in the pot. Right. And look at the two Pinelands together. Wow. This is where Devin rode his bike through. So we have the Pinelands Princess, that beautiful pink in the center, and the Pinelands Pam, which looks like the tongue's on fire. And here I showed what it looks like if you want to put them both in the same container, oh, you can do that. But I, I want to give you a quick update. Mm -hmm. okay. We started with 15,000 of these for this season. Season, we have 1900 left. That's it. And that is it. And these are less than $20 to get three big dinner plate dahlia plants. And because these are getting a little taller, then either pot them or I was going to say, where do you have to live to actually put them in the ground? Well, you can, I put them in the ground everywhere okay you know if you want to or you can put them in containers but you raise your bulb just like you would okay. say a, um, uh, like a begonia or, or something you raise your bulb let me show you again real okay. quick how to they do it they resist deer and rabbits too so i'm going to grab the other pinelands i just planted okay. the pinelands princess now i'm going to uh, plant the pinelands uh, pam and she goes in and you're only going to cover her about one inch and you're going to stake it all right, put a stake in there. It's well worth it. These are tall plants, about four feet tall, right. with huge flowers, wow. eight to 10 inch flowers that will be Look sprouting leaves in two weeks and blooming in 90 days. If you're gonna get these, you better do it quickly because they are gonna be gone before too long. And we cannot get any more back in for this season. And just to remind you, it's less than $20. With a Q card, three. you can actually get, you know, get this on three month easy payments wow. of about six, $7 a month. Isn't and now great? we found the pictures of the Mango Madness. So there it is. There. Um, just reminding you too, they, the butterflies and the hummingbirds like these as Absolutely, well. Absolutely, yeah, and the deer will leave them alone. Yeah, so, how about that? This Love is a it. great, great plant to put anywhere in the country. Mm -hmm. And you find your area of the map and there's a color-coded Q 